Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and I'm now I'm on question number seven on the June 2022 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P3 paper. And this question here is about trig identities and equations. So, part A we have been given an equation 2 sine theta times 3 cot squared 2 theta minus 7 is equal to 3 secant theta, and we have to rewrite it as 3 cosec squared 2 theta minus 13 cosec 2 theta minus 10 equals 0. So the first thing to take note of in a question like this is to note that we have to convert these into double angles. The, what we have to um, make this into is double angles. We've got to go from a single to double angles. So we've got to be thinking in terms of, for example, sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cosine theta or the formula for cosine 2 theta is cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta and all the ones that come from that, for example, 1 minus 2 cosine squared theta or 2 sine squared theta minus 2 cosine squared theta minus 1, sorry, or 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So we can think about these double angle formulae for us to think about how we're going to change from these single angles to these double angles. Now the first thing I can see is I'm just going to write these because these are all in terms of the reciprocal um, you know, functions here. So what I'll do is I'll write this as, keep this as 2 sine theta for now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as 3 times, now cot theta is uh, cot theta is cosine theta over sine theta. So cot squared 2 theta would be cosine squared 2 theta over sine squared th 2 theta because this is the reciprocal of tan. So it's going to be tan theta, we know is sine theta over cosine theta. Therefore, cot theta is cosine theta over sine theta. So cot squared 2 theta is cosine squared 2 theta over sine squared 2 theta. I've got minus 7 and equals 13. Now, 13 secant theta is the same as 13 over. Now, the reciprocal of secant is cosine, so it's going to be 13 over cosine theta. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply both sides by cosine theta because that will help me to change this using this identity here. If I multiply both sides by cosine theta, what's going to happen here, I'll have 2 sine theta times cosine theta that I've got here, 3 cosine squared 2 theta over sine squared 2 theta minus 7 equals 13. All right, that will cancel from this side, and I multiplied it on this side. Okay, now, before I expand this, I can use the formula or the um, identity that sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. So I can convert this into sine of 2 theta, and I've got here 3 cosine squared 2 theta over sine squared 2 theta minus 7 is equal to 13. Now when I expand this bracket, this term times that term, you'll end up with 3 cosine squared 2 theta over, now one of the sine squared one of the sine 2 thetas will cancel out, leaving you with just one of them. So it's 3 cosine squared theta over sine 2 theta minus 7 sine 2 theta equals 13. All right, now let's get rid of the fraction, multiply both sides by uh, sine 2 theta. So multiply every term by sine 2 theta. If I multiply this term by sine 2 theta, the sine 2 theta cancels out from that. If I multiply this term by sine 2 theta, I get minus 7 sine squared 2 theta equals 13 sine 2 theta. Multiply this side by sine 2 theta as well. And because we're going to end up with cosec, cosec 2 theta, cosec squared 2 theta, we know the reciprocal of cosec theta is sine theta. So if I rewrite these all in terms of sine, so this cosine squared 2 theta, I can rewrite using the identity sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. I can write this as 3 times 1 minus the sine squared of 2 theta. Okay, that's, you know, that's, I can replace that so that everything's in terms of sine squared 2 theta and then I can easily convert it. That's minus 7 sine squared 2 theta equals 13 sine 2 theta. So now things are looking a bit more promising. If I expand this, I've got 3 minus 3 sine squared 2 theta minus 7 sine squared 2 theta equals 13 sine 2 theta, and these two will add together to give me negative 10, so 3 
minus 10 sine squared 2 theta equals 13 sine 2 theta. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as uh, the reciprocal function. So I'll put, write this as 3 minus 10 over cosecant squared 2 theta equals 13 over cosecant 2 theta. Now we want to end up with something that looks like this. Okay, this is what we have to show. I'll just put it down there so we can look at what we have to show. Now, we can see that, of course, all the cosec 2 thetas are on, on the numerator. So if I multiply both sides of this equation by cosec squared 2 theta, then this will become 3 cosec squared 2 theta. This will become minus 10, because it'll cancel. And this side will become... 13, well, one of them will cancel. I'll be left with 13 cosec 2 theta. So now we can see if I just subtract 13 cosec 2 theta from both sides, I'll be left with exactly what we have to show. 3 cosec squared 2 theta minus 13 cosec 2 theta minus 10 equals 0. So that's what we had to show. And when you have to show something like this, you have to show your steps very clearly and carefully okay there might be other ways of getting to this answer there probably are many ways of doing so but this is the way that worked out as i did it so that's fine so another point to notice is for example if you could not answer part a supposing you weren't able to show this part b is using part a as we can see so for part b you have to use part a in order to solve this equation so you can just simply use this answer to solve it so, for example, this part A is worth 4 marks, and part B is worth 4 marks. So, you could salvage these four, four of the marks by using the answers from part A. Just, we have to make sure is, these are exactly the same first. Okay, so what you have to make sure of is what we've been given here is the same exactly. So, I'm just going to take this over so we can compare it, because I put them on separate pages. Um... Yeah, that's exactly the same. That's exactly the same as part A. All right, no changes at all. And we have also what we're supposed to make it, what it's supposed to become. So if you weren't able to show this result, if you weren't able to show that this became that, then, you know, we can use the answer and salvage four marks at least. You might even get some marks for attempting whatever you did attempt. Um, to make this into that but if you couldn't do it you know don't give up because part b is simply solving this equation which is already you know been um, put in the right form for us as we can see this is like a quadratic equation it's a, called a disguised quadratic so we could say for example let for example x be cosecant 2 theta so this would be 3x squared minus 13x minus 10 equals 0. So we want to try to factorize this. So try to factorize this to find um, the factors so we can um, solve this. Does it factorize? Let's see. 3 times minus. So you've got 3x squared here and negative 10 here. So we're looking for a product of minus 30x squared. And we're looking for a sum of negative 13x Okay, so I think that's going to be, it can't be 10 and 3 because they have to have different signs. So that will be 7 if they have different signs. But I think 15 times 2. Yeah, 15 times 2. So you have negative 15x because it has to be a negative sum. So negative 15 and plus 2x. That will give us, when I add them together, negative 13. When I multiply them, negative 30. X squared. So that's fine. So let's look at the common factors here. It's 3x. 3x times 1x is 3x squared. 3x times minus 5 is minus 15x. And x times plus 2 is um, 2x. So we end up with 3x plus 2 times x minus 5 equals 0. 3x squared minus 15x plus 2x. That's correct. Minus 10. That's right. So we end up here with x equals negative 2 thirds. And x equals 5. Okay, so now we have here... We said let x equals cosec 2 theta. So now I can use that. So I say cosec of 2 theta equals negative 2 thirds. And cosec of 2 theta equals 5. Now we know that cosec 2 theta 
is the reciprocal of sine 2 theta. So this would be sine of 2 theta equals the reciprocal of that, which is a minus 3 over 2. And this would be the sine of 2 theta equals 1 over 5. The reciprocal of 5 is five, 1 over 5. So we know that this has no solution because the sine of any angle never goes below negative 1, nor does it go above positive 1. The sine curve has a maximum of 1, a minimum of minus 1. So this is going to be down here somewhere. So there's no solution to this part. But the sine 2 theta equals 1 fifth does have solutions. But we have to be careful here not to lose any solutions because our solution should be between 0 and pi over 2. So we have 0 theta pi over 2. We, are well, we have to catch angles all the way up to 2 theta. So this is going to become pi. This will say 0. So we have to find all the solutions for inverse sine of negative of 1 fifth, sorry that lie within this range. And because this is in radians, we have to make sure our calculator is in radian mode. So this is in radian mode. In case you're not sure, that's how you change it. You go to angle unit, and you can choose degree, radian, or gradient. So we, we need to use radians here. So it's in radian mode. So we press, press inverse sine of 1 over 5. And that gives us 0 0.20135 okay so that's 2 theta equals 0 0.2 0 0.1357 0 0.1357 I'll just put it to a few decimal places now that's one angle okay between 0 and pi okay now there is another angle which shares the same sine ratio okay between 0 and pi what we found is an angle over here. There's another angle over there that shares the same ratio, which is going to be pi minus this angle. Okay, it will be pi minus this angle. So we have pi, take away this answer, and that's 2.94023, 2.94023. So these are the solutions for 2 theta, okay, and they're both within the range, remember, the range is up to 3.142. That's what pi is, from 0 to 3.142. And both of those are in that range. So remember, because the sine curve, you have one angle. When it's, when it's a positive ratio like this is, that's the first angle we found. The other angle, ASTC, okay, it's in these two quadrants where it's positive. So there's another angle over here, which is basically pi minus this angle here, which is the same as that. That's how we get that answer if you want to use the quadrants. So we can say theta is this angle divided by 2. And that angle divided by 2. So I'll just take the angle here that we've got. Divide this by 2 first. This is already in the calculator. That's 1.4701. 1.4701 continues. And this one, we're going to divide it by 2. Let me just get that answer back. Okay, that's divide by 2. Gives me 0 0.10067. 0 0.10067 dot dot dot. Okay, so now they ask us to round it to three significant figures. So you're going to have theta equals 0 0.1, this is the third figure, 101, and 1 1.470. So those are the answers uh, to three significant figures, that's 1.47. Sorry about that, three significant figures. Okay, that is the first significant figure. So there we have the answers to this um, question. Now, if you wanted to make sure that you've got the right answer, we could substitute the theta values we got into this equation. So, for example, I could take um, these answers that we had before. This was for sine. This was for two theta. All right. So, if I can replace the two theta here, so um, let me replace. This will be like three over sine squared two theta. So, I'm just going to store this as a. Okay. So that's my answer. That's that's the answer there. Well, hold on. Let me see, recall. Okay, that's uh, the wrong answer. Let me just go back, sorry. One second. That answer is sine 2 theta. I'll store that as A. Okay, that's better. Now that's stored as A. So I'm going to have 3 over, and we're going to have sine of A, because remember that's a reciprocal, sine of A. Okay, and then I'm going to square this all right that's going to be a three over cos x squared two theta okay and then minus this will be 13 over that's cos x two theta so that'll be like um over sine two theta so that's going to be sine 
of 2 theta and 2 theta is the angle that we've got in here so recall A again that was your 2 theta okay and then I'm gonna have minus 10 and that should give us 0 which it does so we know that that's correct and the other angle we got was if I just recall this angle here it was um, yeah it was pi minus this so the other angle was pi minus the angle A okay so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna store this as B now and I'll use that to show that the other solution is also correct so 3 over and again well let me just go back actually just take the same okay so I'll just take that and change this to B so I will recall B put that there and change this to B which is the other angle we got or the other answer so recall B okay so now I've put the, the second solution in, and that should also give us zero which it does so we know that those two solutions that we found do solve this equation so if you want to if you have time and you want to make sure that your answers actually solve uh, the question then you can do that so I took the answers in this form when they were two theta all right that's why I took them in this form when they were two theta and I substituted two theta instead of um, you know in this case three over sine squared two theta and this was minus 13 over sine two theta minus 10 and I saw that that did give me zero so I can rest assured that I have got the correct answers in this question Okay, so there's the answer for question number seven, A and B. As I said, don't get disheartened if you can't do part A. You can salvage half the marks from the question by doing part B if you know how to solve the equations. Um, okay, so that's the answer to this question. Thank you for watching. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from trig identities and equations from P3 in this uh, playlist over here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle thank you for watching and see you soon